hallelujah to God be the glory ah my family had there I'm very happy excited again always happy to know when I'm coming around to see you on family matters amen is your mama again oh yes your sister your mama your sister okay and that is who Reverend Dorothy Abeyua Awodeyi always ministry except for a few occasions yes from Milano Italy and what are we still doing on the matter on grand family matters and you know something about family matter is that what it never comes to an end till Jesus comes even when we get there to heaven it's still the matter of family yes but we know we're we are going to be one family there one unique special family that is why family matters is a thing that is so unique and it's so because of that in case you have not been part of this family already i am inviting you please come and join us in this moving vehicle moving van we are not stopping at all we keep on moving we keep on moving what do i mean by that that is why you see us continue shooting videos continue shooting videos oh yes we don't live by yesterday own. we just think and we believe that god is doing new things in our lives and in our midst and so we want to keep you informed and yes as i will always say it's not just to make videos but videos that will impact your life videos that will impact your homes that will impact your family yes your children your finance your head and i want to use this opportunity to say a big thank you to every one of my returning subscribers those of you that have subscribed to our channel that is always on board every time thank you very much hey it's not every, every time you'll be giving me thumbs up we too want to give you thumbs up so i do like this to you now you be cool <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> i do like this to you now you be cool thank you very much amen for keeping us alive you are the reason why we can need to shoot videos thank you and you so i'm still believing today you're going to give this video a thumbs up thank you because that is the four that keep us on you know something about this thumbs up we're going to say you give to our videos and comment is that when you do that to our video is a way of youtube you know bringing our video forward for others to watch so who wants this channel or what we come to tell you not to just talk with you and i want to go viral want to go to why why is it like that again is that if you look at our society today a lot of things are happening that ought not to be happening in the nation in the city where we are here even whether in a small village in a small community a lot of ugly things are happening that ought not to be and this is why we are how to correct and so when we make videos like this you know you give it a thumbs up you two apples will bring it forward for others to see also to learn and not only that you know you help us to share our videos also is a way of informing others they so that they can learn and things are not in order they can put it in order in their life just imagine in my own case my family is okay and your family is okay the next door neighbor family is okay the next uh, house opposite to yours is okay you know the next house beside you is okay on and on in the community like that don't you think our nation will be something else entirely even not only nation limited to nation alone even the world at large it will be something entirely totally and whereby who we all we enjoy you know something about it is that they say what goes around comes around you know, when some things are things are falling apart, we should not just you know stand alone and feel that it does not concern me. What is my business in this matter? Especially when it is an evil thing, it concerns us. When those things are evil, it concerns us. If we don't attend to it one way or the other, you see that thing that happened to your neighbor, it comes knocking on your door, and you forget that no matter how you try to keep yourself. And you say no, I just want to do my own thing to not affect me. But no way you keep a family. You know, there are times that what we can be so conscious, we can so safeguard ourselves. But what about the children that we are carrying along? These children go they go to school, they go out there to make go with their friends. So you see that's why it's normally says that what go what goes around comes around. So when this we see our videos, you help us to share it. We are trying to alert the community to make it a better place. I thank you very much 
for doing so tonight again god bless you god bless you very good thank you very much amen so we thank god for what he's doing in our midst thank god for that which is here to do and to those of you that have not subscribed to our channel okay we're going to do an exercise no mathematics exercise tonight oh what is that exercise you are wondering okay those of you that have subscribed to our channel go to the right those that have not subscribed subscribe, go to the left okay which one is winning <laughs> so in case you are not subscribed you are to the left in case you are subscribed to the right so which one is winning and so please anyway it's just a joke so what we are trying to say in essence tonight be a part of this moving family be a part of us and you will never regret that you did please don't just watch our videos please 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 subscribe be part of our subscribers i want to see every week whereby we upload uh, upload new videos we want to see the subscribers count increasing thank you for improving the level where we are here thank you very much god bless you amen thank god hallelujah so tonight again we're going to be looking at another interesting topic you know the way i used to do it is that it always has to do with the family setup it always has to do with the family setup yet we are yet we are uh, you know still expecting our guests you know to come around or believing that you know from next video upward uh, our guests will you know will come for one reason or the other they have not been able to meet up so please pray for us for convert your prayers but then what god has i have you know commanded us to do will always go forward will always go forward and so that is why i am involved tonight thank you for you that have been praying for us especially i be also you know especially thank you very much i appreciate because i sense it there are people praying for me because on my own i can never do this if you know me very well and you know like quiet so i feel not not easily <laughs> through with words but i come and so amazing that when i come on board like this this words just keep on flowing because i can be, be only god not my making and thank you for your prayers god bless you so back to what i was saying what is on ground you see it's some time ago i think two weeks to be precise i made a video that has to do with um uh, on one handling unwanted pregnancy you know dealing with an unwanted pregnancy you know if you have watched that video in case you have not watched it please i want you to rewind you will see our videos and please just go in and watch it you will benefit it very well god bless you as you do so what i want to do today is like continuation of where i stopped yet because though i did that video i stopped because of time or uh, sake because you know when you make too much long videos it's like you get people bored so i just decided to stop here so by along the line i've just been thinking it was came into my mind that i think i should make it a balanced video and you know if you have watched that video scott was uh was trying to make us understand that you know somebody getting pregnant not been planned for you can be married couple you can be unmarried you know and one of the things that comes to mind the or people hoped for is that i want to go and submit late this pregnancy and you see it can be so many reasons for that which i enumerated in that video so how i just look i try to encourage us that no we should not do so you see remember where i brought in along with me in the studio my two beautiful guests that is making our lives my husband and i life so amazing at present you know there we are result of course of pregnancy not planned for and today we are happy that they were never terminated i try to do that or encourage us that i am a living witness if god can help me he can help you too so but after making that video as i, as I was saying i just sort of feel and say okay let's make it a balanced video you know as i was saying is that uh, that those talk came from people that in that shoe you know uh people that for example that in that shoe they say that uh, that a lady that got pregnant or uh, you no know, out of wedlock already married not expecting the child maybe just had a child three months ago immediately got pregnant or uh, perhaps maybe the financial challenges is not so and uh, you know uh so encouraging at present imagine getting pregnant another baby again or uh, another option can be maybe environment you no know, so much assistance and you know it can so much be stressful 
Especially we that live in the developed world, for example, in America, you, uh, Europe, whereby it doesn't have a, 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 a happy hand, as made and others, it can so much be stressful. So at times we just say, go let's up for an abortion. I try to encourage us, it's not the best. It's just a face in life. So making the balance tonight, I just have to feel that, okay, this might be another way we look at it. It might be that this time around, you in the position, you in question, that is having a uh, pregnant with that child, wants ready to keep it. Or uh, rather, maybe your spouse wants to keep it. Or maybe you are not yet married. Maybe the guy you're going out you are, uh, wants to intend that you keep it. And you also might also want to keep it. But what about people around? That is what we want to address tonight. What about the environment, people that surround us? Because there are times that what? We live a life at times when we are not so much of age or when we are still looking up to others or survivor. At times, these people try to make key decisions in our lives. We they feel that is the best for us. To don't blame them. We should not so much blame them because that is all their level of understanding or they think they are protecting us. So that is my direction tonight. I want to really address such people or in case you fall into such position or in per, uh, paraventure in fiction or such thing. You no, know, we learn not basically of the position or situation we have at hand. We can learn things today that has to do with the fiction. Now, when we are in such need of such knowledge, we can refer to it. God bless you as you come along here with me in today's journey. And so, I want to quickly look at a topic here tonight which I try so, heck, I desire to keep this baby. Heck, I desire to keep this baby. Look at how I tag this eye goes. That's it's a cry. Can you hear a cry from a lady? How dead? You know, a fiction mom that got pregnant and planned for and say, I desire to keep this baby. I desire, I really want to keep this child. I know things happen that I never planned for. But irrespective of the challenges, I am willing to face with God being on my side. I desire to keep this baby. But on my own, I know I cannot. Standing on my own, imagine a young girl still in school. You know, there are financial challenges. You know, there are issues that will come along. You know, there are challenges from pairs, you know, permits and others that want to make her feel inferior and others. That you know, family this family challenges are there and say, you know, you are dragging our name to, to the mall. We never expected this of you. What do you want our friends to say? Extended uh, members of the other families will say they will mock us, they will nickname us. We thought you are going to bring the, the one that we will know bring out the name of this family on and on like that. The person in question can be totally pissed off. You can even be the man, the, the maid that the man that is in charge responsible for the pregnancy that might still be crying out and say. Eh, why well, you know I desire that this my girl you know keep this pregnancy or this my wife on and on like that. So we're going to be seeing how we can come along as friends, where we share those around these people in question that got pregnant on plan for how we can be of help to them. You can ask me, can we really be of help? Of course we can. For example, you know, it is not a thing we might pray for to happen. For example, you are a mom that, you know, you send a child to school and the child got pregnant, for example. It's not an, an, you know, a very uh, happy is, uh, incident or a, a, a very happy scenario or what we would be excited about. Many your child coming to tell you, mom, I'm pregnant. It's like a dream you are yet to wake up from it. But it's only way you know, she also is like, <laughs> it's like a baby in your hands. You are still catering for so it's it's it goes to sweep you off your feet. But in case it happen, or we know somebody that's already in that shoe, how will we step in to help? That is what we are heading to tonight, to us tonight. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So one of the things I think that why I have three points here, which can you we can use to encourage, whether as a parent, whether as a guardian, whether as a sister, whether as a brother to the person in question, whether as a friend, you know, whether you know as a cosmate or whosoever you are to that person, there are ways we can encourage. Because I see situations whereby parents handle these things not so mature. You know, such a child got pregnant can just be withdrawn from the rest children thrown to one corner. You can can just waste can be used. No many many things are hot not to be. So but how do we correct it? 
how do we correct it? Number one, I already heard that word, encourage with your time. Encourage with your time. You know, time is very, very important in life. So one thing you should not know and understand is that the person in question that got pregnant out of wedlock already feel, you know, or feel uh, lonely. They already feel that he, she has failed. She already feel that emptiness in her, that she no longer belong. It's as if she's no longer welcome like others. Because you know, maybe before then she has her mates where she pair up with, you know, they go along. But now because of her situation, she can no longer flow with them. You know, already she already feel, you know, fail, as a failure as a person. She feel that maybe she has failed, failed herself, you know, failed her family. Fake the nation and stuff and so on and so uh, forth. And one thing I noticed about such people is that they always want to, you know, end up in seclusion. They want to withdraw from others. And that moment of whereby they withdraw from others, they want to be alone and most necessarily living in regret, in pain. In pain, you can come across them with can just pass a smile. You can ask, How are you today? I said, mm, I'm fine. That mm, I'm fine is just trying to pour out such words. But if you are somebody that's sensitive, you can actually tell that she is not actually fine. Inside is heavy, it's burdened, it's burdened, a lot of pains and sorrow inside. That is why time is needed to be spent with such a person. Might not be the whole of your day, but you know, can just maybe as a mom, you can just, you know. Once you are, uh, come, maybe when you go out for your busy schedule, after work, you know, come around her, you know, sit down with her and say, how was your day today? How is uh, everything? I'm not trying to say that well, not try as if you are encouraging what she has done. No, please don't get me wrong. That is not what I'm saying. You know, there are ways we handle issues. There are times I feel that what we feel we are correcting, especially we from the African setup, we feel we are correcting, not knowing at the same time we are destroying what we feel we are building. No, I have seen people handle this thing more than the way it's supposed to be, and they have destroyed future generation. I have seen people because they were the way they were rough handled. The next time you know something happened, they went extra mile and did what they are not supposed to do. Some has lost their life in the process, but we can save these things from happening and becoming like that. So come around, spend time with such uh, with her. If you cannot have I you know have all the time at times, give her a call, you know, I, while you are away, how are you? Have you eaten? You know, how are you feeling? You know, even in the morning, you can come around. How was your night? Did you sleep well? Those are cares, those are a, a way of giving attention to her. You know, when you do this, two girls will tell her that somebody still cares. That's why my mistakes, that's why my errors, somebody is still there with me. And you know, there's a way love works in life. We almost understand it. Love works faster than anger. Or another way we like, I would like to put it, or you know, to, when we are trying to use force, that is way there are ways love love work faster. When you love people uh, irrespective of their shortcomings, their misbehavior, you see then that well, they easily change faster. Especially such people in such situation, because when they're in such situation, most of the time people will draw from them. Even people they look up to, even maybe the guy responsible for the pregnancy can deny it and not run away and friends like they used to go clubbing and all that can abandon her so she just needs somebody that can see you know still that and make her know that she sees um, she sees somebody in life that she you know she still have a future so but when they love like this you see at the end of the day they incur bitterness in them that bitterness can even be transferred to that child you know unborn child now you see that some of them when they give out to this child the child is maybe uh, crying you see the way they will fling the child the way they will heap curses upon the child i said the child was the one that called for his or her birth no no it was the one that made a mistake for example why is it like that because transfer aggression so I bet those of us around them can, eat or, uh, uh, around them can easily correct these mistakes in them because when we show them love they go to transfer that love to that baby Make them to understand this is not the end of the world. Make them to understand what they are carrying is a blessing. Though it is not the actual time they should have done this. 
you know i think we doing that god will help us to achieve a great and better result and some people one thing i notice about them that as long as they live they know they don't forget you i know there are some people that are ungrateful i know that but also there are some that will make great to have their lifestyle i have seen some like that thank you very much for being a part of such encourager to our teenagers out there our youth out there thank you another way we can be of encouragement is that number two is that we can encourage with our words with the words of our mouth do you know that the words of our mouth are very powerful dear friend my dear family out there i have seen whether people use words horribly horribly Remember, I said earlier on, the person in that position is already downcasted. She doesn't know, need such horrible ways. Neither the, the guy that has impregnated her needs such horrible ways. No, they just need to be encouraged. You know, it's normally speaking, and there are an old adage, adage that says that stick and uh, bones, so, sorry, stick and stones can break my bones, but not ways. Stick and bones. Uh, stick and stones can break my bones, but not words. That's to say that well, there is no amount of words you can tell me that will hurt me. But stick and uh, stones can easily break me down. But you can say anything and I'm a is a lie. I go to prove it to you. I think, can you think back in your life? There were times that while you were down, maybe because of situation you were facing, things you have not working to your favor, and people use horrible words on you. People are see they use your situation to mock to you. A time came that what you overcame some situation, and today you are totally transformed. Person, God has blessed you. But do you know that such words you still remember? But there were times also that people like offer you bruises, maybe one way or the other, and those bruises they are healed. When I mean bruises, you know, when they are uh, that, that we will receive a pain, we will receive hurt. You see that with time those things well off. But not horrible ways that we have told us, especially in situations that we are not favoring. There are times not that we try to hold those words. At times we want to let go, but it's still hot inside of us. These might be markers that have lasted over 30 years ago, 40 years ago. You still remember the same. At times you not even remember the same, but you still remember those works. So you need to know the impact of, of negative ways. Please let's try to drop them because people in some situation already they know that they are fake they know that things are not what is supposed to be in their life so you telling them ha ah, you have fed me you have disappointed us as a family no look at who you have become you know choosing horrible ways you can yes only way we say you carrying that bastard she already knows she's carrying a bastard must you always remind her or you see some situation the child is even be giving battle a little child maybe at the age of two or three that they, they know their grandparents or you know well, maybe friends around still calling that child bastard if a child is bastard she will be downstairs to understand she, she he or she is a bastard after all she was one the one that called for call for herself so please all these things is not call for we should be able to put you know words of courage to encourage one another to sell the giant inside of us let's be careful the way we speak our words is very very important because at times our words can hurt people it can hurt people it can keep the the, the greatness in others our words they are like seed that is being sown another person their words are like you know hey when egg falls into the floor you cannot pack it again or like split me on the floor it cannot be packed so also our words when they release even at times when you say you are sorry those words see echoes in the person's heart so let's be careful in fact if you don't know what to say it's better we keep quiet i think it's just better we keep quiet and walk away than making the person regret it to her life and one thing about such people is that you know at times even some negative word we say it might be hurting but at times some people also take it as a challenge you see that because of no, maybe those negative way you, you spoke that you feel that person should have end up a lot because of a negative situation that person can take the bulls by the home and with time the person will say ah because of this word you told me look at where i am today 
but irrespective of that we can still make people succeed more faster with positive words so thank you very much god bless you then another point again i want to have to read today another way we can encourage we can encourage with our substance we can encourage with our substance and when i mean substance it can be money it can be money it can be no clothes it can be you no know, shoes and anything we know that you know we can that, that can act just such a person and such situations it can be even food you know in time of pregnancy are times of craving there are times what we not eat ordinary day the normal day when you are pregnant you want, you want to long for it if you have ever been pregnant you understand very well what i'm talking about you want to learn for and what you eat today might not be what you, we, you, you want to eat tomorrow. This is just no man for every pregnant woman. So you find such people around because of the only deep plan for it and you can offer a happy hand. Please don't hesitate to do so. Don't hesitate to do so because you have to know you are not only doing for her, you are doing for that you know, great child she carries in that home, which is of a great test and you know, destiny with a great purpose. You can, you know, when we get pregnant, our shape changes. So you see, clothes and new clothes are needed. So if it's clothes you can offer, please be, be, be uh, not willing to do so. And when we get pregnant, also, it says that some women that when they got pregnant, their feet got swollen. You see, shoe size, yeah, sizes, you know, it, it, it changes. If it's shoes you can offer, you can offer. If it's still food, you can offer, you can offer. If it's still money, you can drop in the person's hand. No matter how small, please be willing to do so. Let's not be those that you know uh, that are happy with you know spreading evil rumor or happy doing evil, making people feel uh, pains. Yes, some people you are not there to help, but rather you are there to scandalize the name of the person and say, ah, what would she expect? I uh, yes, I thought as much that she's going to get pregnant eventually. I thought as much that she's going to get pregnant. No, no, it's responsible. And what does that call for? Even when she does not know it's responsible, does do you think that she deserves all that? Somebody that's already done casted. So please, we can help with that substance also to make that person, you know, feel all right. You know, as I said before, it is a phase in her life. She's going to pass through it. And when she passed through, you see that well, she become a, 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 a different a, a being entirely, a different person entirely. You know, at times, uh, this goes to parents or guidance in people uh, uh, in such uh, situation. You know, at times, we think we are disciplining these people, this person, this lady in question, or this boy that impregnated a girl, you know, out of wedlock, maybe still in school and others. You, we think we are disciplining them because of our hardness on them. You say at times, usually I don't know that so much in the white man culture, like we from the Africa. I remember those days, they will just bundle the girl and go and dump in the boy's house. Maybe with, you know, I will touch some clothing or with some clothing. And you see at the end of the day, that, that dead destiny is totally destroyed. It's totally destroyed. Our joy is totally wiped off in life. These are mistakes we should have corrected. Okay, you're going to drop eye in the, the boy's side. Is it the best thing? Look, is this a young guy that cannot even take off himself, not take off that, that lady? You see, at the end of the day, the lady no stop schooling. At the end of the day, you know, living in abject poverty. Before you know it, she got pregnant with the second one. And at the end of the day, she's totally zero in life. Before she can, some, some never recovered from it in life. So even when they recover, they live to regret it. They can be a mental wear off. If you can pick her up, shaping her, you know, put her on track again. I have seen people in some situation that, especially a lady now, remember years ago it happened to. The mother took her up, went, uh, you know, the, uh, 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 actually gave her proper attention. She got pregnant in secondary school. She didn't even know the, the, the person that was responsible for that pregnancy. What happened to her? The mother, you know, at first was angry, but later she thought of it, took her up, cut her for her and she gave back to the child the child was a boy at the end of the day the mother sent her back to school and cut her for that child a time came that when people saw the child with the mother they thought it was the mother that gave back to the child no even know that and they we were not even not even people i was even a mom we were not even calling the, this boy this little boy a, a, a brother to the mom we didn't even know that that lady was the mom we thought the grandmother was the mom and today, 
There are later the lady, you know, finished at secondary school, went to a higher institution. She became a, uh, I think she went to the police, uh, uh, you know, part of the police, and later she graduated. I know I asked my mother the other time that she is not well among Nigerian police. You know, she remarried, she got married. She's happily married again. You see the, the, the huge difference between some people that we vary at and do the situation wrongly. So please, the choice is ours. Remember what I said, is that I'm addressing those people that, the, peop uh, the people that are around those, the person that is a victim. Not the victim this time, but the person that are around the victim. How we can help. Just as I said, can you be the young guy that got the lady pre in, uh, pregnant? You can see put that young young guy in, you know, on track. And so I know you have made a mistake. You are too young to be a father. But now is it okay? Let's see how we take care of this lady. But you now you are too young to go back to school. Or is he a trade you will learn? Okay, so that you become somebody in life. So, but the first, in the first, in, in, in the first place, what make you think that what they are compatible? For the first, maybe carelessly they slept together and impregnated her. You think that is they, they actually love themselves today? That what marriage? That will end up in marriage? No, no. So thank you very much. God bless you. I believe that this video has been a blessing to somebody. And please, as I told us earlier on, please let's endeavor to share it to save our community, to save our nation, to save our youth out there. And please get it clear. What I'm trying to say is that we know that we are trying to encourage evil acts. Not that I'm trying to encourage somebody that jumped from bed to bed. No, that is not my intention. But what I'm trying to say is that if it has happened, how we can make a better situation out of it. They used to say that what you don't throw a, a baby you have baited with water with the baiting water. You know, the water you use in baiting any child, any child is normally very dirty. Okay, can you now say you have used that water to bait that child? You throw away, you are throwing the water and you are throwing the baby along at the same time. It doesn't make sense. What we throw away, we throw away the water, but the baby will, will keep. So also, when a child is here, you don't throw away that child and the, you know, and, uh, uh, and the character and everything and say, go away. So that is what I am aiming at tonight. Thank you very much for taking that time to listen to what God has for us today. I remain your host, Reverend Dorothy Abeywa. I will be here I come across your way again. Remain blessed. So thank you very much for being a part of today's discussion. So till I come across your way, remain blessed. And remember, we are in the period of Easter, which is a great uh, moment for everyone year and death and Easter, what does it signify? It signifies the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. So please family have there endeavor that to make this moment a tremendous one. Please take the family out with the half children, take them out. You know, those that are couple, take yourself out. <laughs> so those of us, we don't even remember the last time I that gone out with your spouse. I think this might be a time you just space out time because I understand they're especially children they're in holidays now from school and some workers also they have off work, off work so this might be a time of the family coming together again so anyway what i'm trying to say in this sense that make this period a joyful one an enjoyable one one that you live to remember a remarkable one thank you amen and also well i just something just came to me again you know looking at the word of god uh, Mary was somebody that got pregnant on plant four. Yes, <laughs> I, I would have even started with that one. Yes, how did the parents of Mary, the mother of the Lord Jesus, said? Even you know, remember the Bible said that when Joseph got to know, he felt he felt bad about the situation and wanted to you know keep her out. But the angel of God came to him and warned him. And thank God for Joseph that he obeyed. So I want to believe I might be the angel today that God is sending across your way and say, No, keep that lady, which I can call Mary, invited commas, Mary today. Keep that Mary today because that which is pregnant is of the Holy Ghost. And what we say is of the Holy Ghost is a special child. Thank you. Amen. Okay, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please give it a thumbs up and also leave your comments behind. Amen. Okay. 
happy Easter from the entire family of family matters <laughs> let me put it that way we the entire members of family matters those that come along in this studio since we started family matters and be part of it we all we are wishing you all their family father happy easter especially from ox also living faith international ministry worldwide and also with their wedding is we are wishing you our family all day every one of you happy Easter. God bless you. Bye for now. Amen.